Hello and welcome to the 5 minutes overview of AWS well architected for startups. My name is Ermin and I'm a senior startup solutions architect at AWS. Together with you, I will dive into the cost optimization pillar. So let's get started. As you already know, there are five well architected pillars. Those are operational excellence, security, reliability, performance efficiency, and cost optimization. While I'm going to focus on cost optimization today, please make sure to watch other videos because all these pillars are important. Let's first see how do we define cost optimization. Cost optimization is the ability to run systems to deliver business value at the lowest price point. We in AWS, we want you to run your systems on AWS as cost effectively as possible at the same time providing value to your customers. So why cost optimization is important for startups? Well, one obvious reason is limited budget. But even more important is that you need to be able to demonstrate to your investors and business partners that you have maximized utilization of resources. That's why we came up with five cost optimization design principles. What are those? Those are implement cloud financial management. This basically says that your company must dedicate time and resources of building capability to become a cost effective organization. Adapt consumption model, meaning pay only for the computing resources you consume. Measure overall efficiency. You should measure the business output of the workload and the cost associated with delivery. Stop spending money on undifferentiated heavy lifting. Focus on your customers and business projects rather than on IT infrastructure. And analyze and attribute expenditure. Accurately identify the cost and usage of workload. Today, we will take a look into two of these design principles, but I invite you to check out other principles of the cost optimization pillar. The first design principle that we will look at is adapt a consumption model. It basically means pay only for the computing resources that you require. For example, production environments are usually required to run 24 hours a day all year long. However, your dev test environments are usually only used during business hours and they will sit idle outside of these times. So as shown on the diagram, you can shut down non-production resources when not needed. Only through this measure, you can save up to 70% for non-production workload. So what is the takeaway from this design principle? The first thing you can do is to terminate unused resources. Use Amazon CloudWatch to identify instances that are not being used. The second, resize resources that are over-provisioned. Use the lowest cost resources that meet the requirements of the specific workload. And finally, automate shutdown on schedule for the instances when not in use. AWS has already provided a solution to custom start-stop schedules that work with EC2 and RDS instances. One of my favorite principles is stop spending money on under heavy lifting. AWS does the heavy lifting of data center operations like racking, stacking, and powering servers. This allows you to focus on your customers and business projects rather than on IT infrastructure. Of course, you can build your own database on the EC2 instance, but the effort involved in this, as well as managing the cluster, is the effort that you and your team could invest somewhere else. In this case, using a service like RDS will allow you to focus on adding value to the business instead of spending time on patching instances. Another good example is shown on the diagram. A shift to serverless architecture removes the need for you to run and maintain physical servers and virtual machines. You can have a better utilization of your resources and less management on the machine. This approach will enable your valuable engineering resources to focus on developing new features and providing value to your customers. So what would be our takeaway here? Basically, identify what services do you currently run that could be replaced by an AWS managed service. You should focus on innovating rather than keeping the lights on. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this episode on cost optimization 
and keep watching the series as we keep diving into each well-acted pillar. As your next step, you can start evaluating your workloads by using the self-service well-acted tool in your AWS console. Thanks and see you soon. Bye.